Hey YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review, a little review, on a company called Crop Shop Boutique. So this video is actually inspired by one of my subscribers. Shout out to them for suggesting this to me. So they asked me if I could do a review on Crop Shop Boutique because they only have reviews on their actual website and not really many on like on YouTube or like different platforms. So I thought I would buy some stuff and give it my own little uh, testeroni here. Okay, so originally I looked on the Crop Shop Boutique website and I saw this stuff was like quite expensive, like definitely more than I would usually want to pay. And then also with like shipping and conversions and all that stuff, I was like, no. So I actually went on to Poshmark and found the exact bra I actually wanted from the store, which was insane. And then I also found these J, or what are they called? Leggings, but they're joggers. I think they're called jeggings, maybe, I forget. So yeah, that's what I bought and it was like way cheaper. I also do have a Poshmark, my closet. I will link it down below. I am selling some workout stuff on there and just like normal clothes if you ever wanna check it out. I got some good stuff on it. Before we get this video started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't miss any of my videos. And if you have any more suggestions for clothing items, like I'm not gonna be doing anything risky or anything like that, so people need to stop asking me that. But I will do workout clothes, obviously. And yeah, if you have any specific stores you have in mind, I would love to give those a try. Let's get this video started. So my first thoughts when I pulled this bra out of the bag was, where is it? Like, what? what is this? Is this a bathing suit? There's nothing really to this bra. The Poshmarker gave me the cups that came with it. They Shout out to them for doing that, but like these, they just look so weird in the bra, so I just ended up taking them out because they were just small little circles. It was just like, what? what is this? So I do follow this Instagram girl. Her name is Kaylee Ulam, Ulam or some. I I'm sorry if I butchered that name, but she always wears their bras and stuff and I'm like, those are so cute. They're just such an open back concept for a bra and I think that's just adorable. And we love to show off the back muscles. The bra that I ended up getting was the Sophia Crop. Yeah, the Sophia Crop and I got this one in a size extra small and I'm glad I did because it is, it's hard to explain how this fits. I'll just show it on, obviously. And I got it in a size white, which is the one I wanted. And I just think that is so funny how that worked out. So this is originally $47.99 US, or Australian. And I think that is pretty expensive for a sports bra when it is literally just a piece of cloth with strings attached to it. But it is a good quality sports bra. It feels kind of like a bathing suit. <laughs> so I was like, what? It does look really cute on. It's just definitely on the pricier side. And then I got Oh, they're called Jites. Jites, like, I don't know. Jogger tights, I guess. So I got these ones in a size extra small, and this is obviously the gray color, and I wish I did get a size up, just because these are like right on the edge of being too small. I don't think I will be keeping these, so I might put them back on my Poshmark, so keep an eye out for that. So these ones are $79.99 Australian, so not that expensive, I guess, for pants. like. I don't know. It's definitely good quality. Like, it feels nice. I just am glad that I found them on Poshmark. <laughs> okay, so let's try these on. Okay, so here is the outfit on. Let's start with the bra. So it has like this little laser cut detailing here, which I think is really cute. And it kind of like goes through so you can like kind of see through it. But the main attraction is definitely the back on this sports bra. I think it's just so cute. This is definitely a light, light support bra, like 100%. There's nothing really to it, but it does just like accentuate your back really nicely. It is, it does, I think I am a size extra small like this. This fits quite well. It could have even been like a little bit more up, but this is, I think their smallest size that they have. I think it's just really cute. I wore it for a back day and I was just like flexing hard. Like it was really nice. I don't feel like it's gonna snap off or anything like that. Hopefully not. But yeah, this is a really cute bra. Just quite expensive. It's, there's no adjustable straps or anything. That's why I feel like it gives me like bathing suit vibes, but it is really cute. Okay, so for these leggings, jeggings, Jet, whatever they're called, I forget. What were they called in? Jorts? No. I don't even know. They are 
and then they're like seven eighths on me so like i said i would definitely have sized up to a small these are extra small they're definitely less high-waisted than i would like but if you like pull them up then the camel toe situation is not very good because there is like a seam going right through it i do really like this color i love a good gray and i feel like these would be quite sweat proof and I think squat proof like they feel like really good material. They're just a little bit too small for me But I think yeah overall like it is a really cute outfit like I look pretty like casual Look like I'm just like hanging out like maybe doing like some crossfit or something like, I feel like that's what the vibe is They are pretty flattering for the booty. They're not really squishing it down or anything like that And this material is like it's stretchy, but it's not the most stretchy material I've ever felt and I think that's also because I'm like stretching these to the max because they're too small for me. Yeah, I feel like they would be squat proof. Overall, like a good quality pant, just a little bit too small for me. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping these. I haven't decided yet. So this wraps up my little crop shop boutique review. I think that this brand is quite good. It's a good brand. Um, a little bit more expensive than I would probably spend for a sports bra like this, even though it's really cute. Like I'm glad I have it. The pants are very good quality as well. I would say maybe size up, but I haven't actually tried like their leggings. I usually would be like an extra small, but I think for joggers I would be a size up just because I like them to fit like a little bit with some give um, I feel like I if I like bend in the wrong way they're gonna like pop even though the stitching and everything is very well done yeah overall I think this is a really good brand really unique pieces I haven't really seen anything like this so gotta love that and yeah let me know what you think if you have any brands that you would like me to try I will give it my best shot to try them. I mean, if the leggings are like $200, I probably won't be trying it, but if they're like reasonable, I would definitely give them a try and let you guys know what I think. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow me on Instagram at Hill. I said that weird. Oh well. I will see you in the next video. Peace.